let's make some egg rolls. So first I've got to rehydrate this black fungus. It's gonna take a while. Honestly, dried mushrooms is fairly common in Asian cooking. So if you go to your local like Asian grocery store, you'll see like a whole aisle of like dried mushrooms and stuff. Normally, while that is happening, you're gonna chop and dice all your veg, but I got my guy to do that yesterday. So honestly, I just wait right now. We're also gonna make a dessert. My family calls it like che. I don't know how to say it, but I don't know. Anyways, this is some tapioca pearls. This is the lychee flavor. They also might be called lychee, but my family grew up saying lychee. But anyways, I think I just have to kind of boil water and then just kind of stir these for a few minutes. That's what I'm gonna do. So as per this, it says boil 10 cups of water for every one cup of tapioca, which seems like a lot. And I don't know how much I wanna make. So I'm thinking maybe I just do one cup or a third of a cup. If I did a third of a cup, that'd be three cups of water. Oh, that's just, that's, that's fine. If I did two thirds of a cup, be six cups of water is that right we'll do that two thirds of a cup six cups of water let's do that this pot feels like overkill but also i think it's kind of the best i've got so let's boil that and then we've got to chop some fruit okay so what also goes into the milk dessert is some coconut jello and then a bunch of fruit so this is jackfruit and syrup they're all in syrup because that's what it is it's not water Longan, this is good. I'm so upset. I got rambutan with pineapple inside. I love rambutan. I do not like pineapple. So I'm really upset, but I imagine this is actually very good for people who like pineapple. And then some lychee, working on the tapioca pearls and the coconut jello I need to do. So let's do that. Every year for Super Bowl is when I make this stuff, but this year's Super Bowl actually coincided with New Year, so it worked out great. I just, I forget how the timing of everything is, and it's not like hugely labor intensive, except for rolling the egg rolls, but it's really helpful to have Kyle prep some stuff last night. So what we've got going on, we've got one big pot of water boiling for the tapioca pearls. I'm gonna do two thirds cup, we'll see how it goes. And then I've got three cups of water for the coconut jello. I've got my fungus rehydrating for egg rolls. This will be for frying the egg rolls. And then I've got egg roll contents here prepped. And now I need to go and cut up all this fruit. I don't really cut it up so much, but just like a little, just a little chop. I got no issues, it's kinda nice Like running water into a paradise Got no drama, feels like we arrived Okay, so jackfruit, this is on top. This is the jackfruit. Um, that's kind of what I had to chop the most. Underneath we've got lychee, which I chopped in half, and then longan. And these are all kind of like, they've got a pit in the middle, you've got to peel them. And jackfruit is like this huge pod. Um, it's a labor of love, I think, cutting up a jackfruit. So anyways, let's open this one and see what it's like. All right, this is the rambutan, which is my favorite, with pineapple, because I accidentally got that. I'm not a pineapple person. Oh, big splash. That's gonna be so sticky. I do put a little bit of the syrup in with everything because it's extra sweetness. So yep, there's pineapple in there. I guess I could just like push the pineapple out. <laughs> I feel like if it's in there, I should probably keep it together instead of chopping them. No, I'm still gonna chop them a little because that's just too big. So I guess there'll be rambutan and pineapple, which is probably good, just not my favorite personally. I love rambutan. I remember being in elementary school and one time I brought one of these canned fruits in my lunch and people said mean things about it. <sighs> Kids. Yeah, it's like... I'm trying to think of like an American fruit that reminds me of it. Maybe like, in some ways it's kind of got the texture of a grape, sort of, but not quite. And the flavor, um, not quite peachy. It was just, it's so good. I love them. My grandma would feed us 
think it was rambutan. It was probably all of them, but she would just come with a bowl of the rambutan in the syrup, and she would just, like, spoon it to us like it was soup while my parents were gone, because this is just, like, in heavy syrup sugar water. <laughs> we were happy. Both my things of water are just about boiling, and then I've got to clean up this sticky, sticky mess. It's really bad. I bet Kyle will like having the pineapple in this. Maybe it was a happy accident. Everything is sticky now. I'm gonna turn on my vent a little bit. So I'm gonna add my tapioca, two thirds cup, slowly. I'm just gonna add it. But then I have to stir it for like a minute. One third, two thirds. Okay, now I'm gonna stir and wait for it to float to the surface, then I'm gonna cover it. Coconut jello time. I love this stuff. It's so good. This I have to stir to dissolve because it's gelatin. So let's pour that in. Dissolve. I'm stirring it, I promise. It smells so good. Tapioca starting to float. Stirring this. Now I'm going to reduce this to low, this one. And then the fungus you can see is creepy crawling, hydrating up. So, in just another second, I'm going to cover that with the lid that I can't find. This thing is. Alright. So let's cover that and set a timer for Alexa. Set a three minute timer. Dissolve. Jello in this, not because it's a good idea, but because it's what I have. Like this is really hot to be pouring into there, but I don't want to use a pie dish. That's fine. Right? That's fine. We'll just pour slowly. And so this just has to go and set, like all the other jellos. The jello has to cool, and then I'll stick it in the fridge. I suppose I could have done this last night, but I didn't think to. I'm gonna clean up my very, very oh, so sticky mess. Okay, so I I just took the cover off the tapioca and I'm gonna let it go for another couple minutes. Alexa, set a two minute timer. And then we're gonna put it in cold water and instead of flavoring it, I believe it just goes right into the other stuff. But now I'm honestly thinking I'm doing this all wrong, but that's okay. I genuinely feel like I'm doing this all wrong now, <laughs> but we're gonna go with it. We're just gonna put the fruit in the bowl. Am I supposed to have coconut milk or coconut cream? I'm like suddenly so confused. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's all good. Alexa, how much time is left on my timer? There are no timers set. Great. Pulling out my tapioca balls. Putting them in cold water. I'm like, am I even supposed to be using tapioca pearls? Why? I haven't eaten today. That's probably why I'm struggling. I'm gonna add them to the fruit. I think I'm just gonna pour the milk on now. There's often like rainbow jelly and stuff. I just do the coconut. Sometimes there's like beans. One more little tapioca ball. Where are you, buddy? Got him. Okay. Tapioca and fruit. I'm gonna pour milk on top. I feel like Kyle may have actually bought this whole milk for something else, but I can use it if I can open it. I'm just doing enough to just about cover everything, and then I'm just going to stick it in the fridge. I will want to add more milk later, but for now, that's what it is. I'm going to try one of these tapioca balls, see if it really is lychee flavored or not. Doesn't taste lychee flavored. I don't know, like, often you'll, like, roll them in stuff or something. Hopefully it'll just soak up the sweetness of the other stuff. It's not bad. It's just not lychee flavored. That's one thing. Done. Okay, so the fungus is going to need chopped. I'm going to give it maybe another 20 minutes to soak. But in the meantime, I'm going to start mixing my filling. Also take my wrappers out of the freezer. That's kind of important. Everyone's egg roll feeling is different. Egg roll versus spring roll is a whole different thing. I grew up calling these spring rolls, but then we like realized they were actually egg rolls. 
I don't know. I'm just doing my best. Okay, I'm gonna mix up my seasonings in here. All fairly approximate. Everyone has their different recipe. I'm not gonna share mine because it's not my recipe, so I don't know. But I will tell you what's going in it. Salt and sugar, which is supposed to be more than salt. The pepper. We do not have nice pepper. I don't really like pepper, so I'm not spending the money, but... And then, some good old MSG. Don't be scared of it. It's good. So I'll be honest, this is probably the only thing I actually use MSG for, so... A little bit more salt. These are my seasonings. Wow. Alright, we're gonna do some ground pork. I got eggs and my other veggies. I really don't want to cut up the fungus. It's so slippery. Okay, so now it's time to cut up the fungus. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Some big knife action. I'm just gonna chop away. This is a terrible job. They're squishy and they jump around so much, but like, they're so weird. They're making a mess. Kyle says he's gonna do it in a minute. So we've got pork, veg, Kyle's chopping some more fungus, I'm going to add two eggs, I think that should be good, I'm just going to mix it all up. Okay, so I've got set up to start wrapping, I have an egg scrambled, a lot of the time you just use the egg yolk, but it's just easier to use the whole egg. I'm starting to separate my sheets, which is a job within itself, and then we'll start wrapping here in a bit. So wrapping egg rolls is a family event. Everyone in the family knows how to do it. Do Except you, me. I know, do you remember how to do it? So we didn't make egg rolls last year because Kyle got his wisdom teeth out. Which I will link that video because that's a fun one. Okay, a lot of egg roll wrappers will tell you how to do the wrapping, but my family always did it differently. What we would do is we would fold this bottom up and then we grab a portion of the egg roll. And I try to keep my fingers clean as long as possible, but there's not really a point to that. And so we lay the filling on top of that little fold, and then lay that over and roll it right up. I don't know why, but that's, that's how we do it. Just tuck it in as we go. And then when you get to the end, we use egg yolk, just dab the finger, and that is how we seal it all up. So there you go. Give it a kiss. Picture perfect, it don't exist. But when I'm with you, don't have to question it. True to ocean. Okay, so we have gone and wrapped a bunch of egg rolls. I think we're decided that we're gonna do another batch in a couple days because we've just got too much shredded carrot and... Anyways, so, we are frying. There they are. There they are frying away. I go based on look, and then I'll figure out how long they need to cook. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. We've got a plate over there, plate here, frying some up, and a few that I have just fished out. So as soon as I'll cut one open, make sure it's all good. I'm sure it is. It smells so good. I'm so excited. To be clear, when Vietnamese people eat egg rolls, they're gonna eat it like wrapped in lettuce with like pickled vegetables, cucumber. And I eat it like that sometimes too. But I also, I just eat them plain or with like a dipping sauce. It's, it's heavy that way, but really good. So I did not get any vegetables or lettuce for us today. Just plan on eating them. So we just cut the first one open. It's hot, but it's cooked through. Looks good. Very pleased. Okay, now back to my jello. I'm just gonna like cut it in here and then toss it in with the fruit milk, mix it up, and then that is done. So I'm currently frying the second plate. And so time to clean up the kitchen while I do that but we've got two bowls here 
So good. Good stuff. So this is the finished fruit cocktail situation. It's yummy. And then we got a bunch of egg rolls. Some more over there. And there you go. Yummy. Yummy. Uh -huh.